today's strength work, we're going to start just standing on our knees and we're going to be warming up the wrists and forearms. We're going to interlace our fingers, bringing the palms together and we're just going to begin to do figure eights in one direction with our wrists and then switching directions. And then we're going to pause and in exchange the interlace of our fingers. So the opposite pinky goes in front and we're going to do the same thing again. And switching directions. All right, good job. Okay, so we're releasing our fingers. We're gonna start with our first variation and Tony is going to be nice enough to demonstrate for us. So we're going to start with a side plank variation. So he's going to extend one leg out along the side of him, taking the arm of the leg that's extended onto his waist, and then he's going to bring the palm of his opposite hand to the floor like so, bringing the palm entirely to the floor. And then from here, we're going to lift this leg up, really charging it a lot. Beautiful, and we're going to hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, maybe lift it up a little more, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, so we're going to do the opposite side. So coming back to standing on our knees, he's extending the opposite leg out and then bringing that hip to the hands to the hip. And then he's going to bring this opposite palm to all the way to the floor. So really supporting in the side plank and trying not to sink into the shoulder joint here, really engaging the muscles to support you. And from here, he's going to lift that leg up into the air charging that leg, really strengthening those hip stabilizers, hip abductors. We're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lowering down. Good job. Okay, so from here we are coming to our hands and knees and we are going to do fire hydrant pose, really squeezing those glutes. So from here he's going to Start with his left hip and he's going to lift that knee to hip height and pause here just to demonstrate. He's keeping both hip points uh, pointed straight at the floor. So we're not in circus, what's it called? Cirque du Soleil. So we're not doing a contest to try to lift our hip as high as it can go. And then he's gonna lower down and we're going to do that nine more times. So nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one, and switching sides. We know why it's called fire hydrant pose, I assume. I assume we figured that out by now. All right, from this time, 10 times on this side. So beginning, 10, nice and slow. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last one. Perfect. From here, we're coming onto our backs with our knees bent and the soles of the feet on the ground for a bridge variation. So we're doing a different variation from last time, but I'm going to have Tony demonstrate the classical bridge pose that we did last time. So if this new variation does not feel right, um, then this is an option to do instead. So Tony, will you just demonstrate classical bridge for me with our feet about hip distance apart and let's lift those hips up in the air, squeezing the glutes, straight line from nose to knees, beautiful, and lowering down. So that's the option if you do not like this next variation, which is frog bridge. So he's going to bring the soles of his feet together and let his knees fall out to the side. So his legs are creating a diamond shape. And from here, he's looking right up at the ceiling. He is not looking left or right with his neck. That's not nice on the neck. So looking right up at the ceiling. Hey, Jeffrey. 
Move so that we can see, looking right up at the ceiling, he's going to lift his knees, his hips up into the air, creating a nice even line from his pelvis to his chest. Holding here, squeezing, and we're going to be doing increments of 10 for about a minute. So squeezing the glutes, squeezing the abdomen, we'll stay here for five, four, three, two, one, and let's lower down. Good job. Taking a little breather and then coming back up, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the lower abs, and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And lowering down, taking a little breather. And then last time, we'll come on up, lifting those hips up, really squeezing the glutes, squeezing the core, the lower abdomen, and holding here for five, or 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, bringing those knees together. Maybe let's just do a little twist to that bring things out. So extend your arms into a wide T and bring your knees into your chest. And then just let both knees fall to the side. Let it fall and relax to the side. Just let it flop. Yeah, let it go. So breathe a couple breaths here. And then come on back up, bring your knees back up and let them fall to the opposite side. Just a little stretch in the glutes, the IT band, the chest. And then bring those knees back up and place your feet on the ground. All right, thanks for doing your strength workout with me today. And thank you, Tony, for demonstrating. All right, have a great day.